Creating a custom Ansible lookup plugin in Python for a driving API token. An Ansible lookup plugin are used to retrieve data dynamically during playbook execution. They allow you to fetch information from various sources such as databases, API or external files and use that data in your Ansible task. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to code the token.py that is a simple plugin that interacts with one API. So first of all, let me add some uh, heading to the current uh, um, lookup plugin that uh, these are standard headers for Python 3 that uh, you would literally just copy and paste is for importing from the future some uh, absolute import division and print function okay now the important part is defining the documentation this seems quite uh, pedantic but it's very important uh, and ansible is going to build the parameter list based on the information that we specify in the documentation in this demo i'm going to keep it simple and not adding any parameter if you need it you need to add extra um, extra key so what is important is the name of a plugin in my case it's just a test the author of the plugin that is luca burton and with an email and the version of the plugin this should absolutely match the collection so if we want to deploy this ansible plugin in a collection we should absolutely modify this uh, version to match the version of a collection 0.1 is the first and starting point uh, let's specify also a short description and a full description full description is actually a point bullet point where we can add a more descriptive uh, and more long text so short description is just a read api token and description is this lookup return the token from a provided api cool i think you are pretty excited now let's move to the meaty part this i'm going to keep this ansible lookup plugin to the bare minimum and we are going to see all the important things i'm going so we need to import some uh, uh, libraries uh, uh, most important is Ansible errors uh, that are uh, the most common are the Ansible error class and Ansible pass error and then also we need the lookup base from the Ansible.plugin lookup in this way we literally uh, edit the base for creating a new Ansible lookup plugin okay uh, what else oh we need also the display that is very fundamental for executing the code inside uh, of this plugin and we need also the request library that is very popular to interact with all the type of api services and i'm going to use with a post method specifically okay cool let's initialize the display and define the class lookup module that Edit from the uh, lookup base class. I'm going to define a private variable URL with the URL of my API. This is uh, only educational only in the real world. We are going to define this as parameter and probably store somewhere else. Okay, but this is super easy to define here. And uh, let me define, let me use the rec res uh, API that. Um, is a free api available on the internet just for testing all the api services okay now the meaty part is actually the run function inside the lookup plugin here we are going to define some terms variable and uh, additional argument for my function okay cool let me give some space and now let's start uh, doing the important things okay so to interact with this api we need actually some login um, reading the online documentation we saw that uh, we need a param uh, define a dictionary with email that is uh, specify one parameter in this case ev hold at recrest.in and some password in clear text okay again this is only educational only so 
you can complicate this with a hashed password or whatever whatever other parameter fits your API. But this is the bare minimum. Username and password and now we are able to connect uh, to the API. So let's you save uh, into the res variable the result of execution of the request post and let me specify the URL Oh, actually let me reference the private variable that we defined before and send some data equal the payload cool okay so the request library is going to connect to the API service and save the result inside the res variable okay now let me you let me use the uh, additional let me invoke the method raise for status to return also the status code and now I'm able to save inside the return variable the result of the JSON okay now um, the result will be returned as uh, a dictionary and we can select the correct key so uh, there are many key available in this dictionary this is very specific to this API so we need to return the token element inside this uh, dictionary okay um, every good code is also managing the exception so let me handle the basic the very basic cases in this case uh, let me handle the request.exception.http error this is very common yeah, if you are not able to reach out uh, the URL and uh, let's handle raising uh, a new exception so let me raise a new exception with some parameter in this case I'm going to raise Ansible error and let me specify a custom message for the user there was an error checking not getting the token and uh, let me uh, print out uh, the message on the screen the lookup uh, api returned uh, let me use percent s as a placeholder for the variable uh, response dot uh, status code cool in this case so we are able to see 404 if we're not able to access the url or any http error okay let's have let's add also a generic exception except exception as e and let's raise another ansible error that uh, will be generic like an endless exception in lookup in lookup plugin let me specify the origin and again let me use a specify a placeholder for strings and let me use exception a cool so it seems that our very basic ansible lookup plugin is actually coded okay let me return the value or uh, of the return code and this is a little bit of hack adding the list inside the return because uh, uh, historically the lookup plugin is expecting a list as a return code so if we return a string we need to actually uh, return inside the list okay cool now we coded the first ansible lookup plugin for retrieving our api uh, token isn't simple that's great so we can extend the basic functionality with additional code and using python okay so this is the code now we need to we can use whatever we want for example let me create a very simple exec.yml ansible playbook that is going to use the token lookup plugin so uh, as usual let's start with free dash as a yaml document and a name for this uh, playbook exec lookup plugin that is going to be executed against host all of my inventory and on the task list we have uh, we're going to have only one task that will be named retrieve token from plugin 
Okay, the most how to print it out messages on screen well using ansible built-in debug module and on the message size instead of a static message instead of using a variable we are going to invoke our lookup plugin so let me specify lookup as a function and the name of the plugin token that's it we finish yes we just invoke the plugin by name and Ansible every time is going to run our Ansible Python code. Easy busy. Now we can imagine how can we extend Ansible. There are unlimited possibilities connecting to database, reading file. There are so many use cases that you can fit with Ansible lookup plugin. Okay, now you are probably ready to test our code. The most easy thing is to put our lookup plugin inside the lookup underscore plugins directory as you can see there is a token pi there is exec.yml the only file that i did introduce for you is my inventory file that simply connect to localhost now i'm able to execute my ansible playbook let me specify the inventory with dash i parameter exec yml okay cool the execution is going to start processing our my plugin and boom, we get an error. It happened. As you can see clearly, there is a syntax error in our uh, token PI file. And uh, it seems very trivial because it looks like that there is a, 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 um, just a one uh, part of the code that is not perfect. We can execute with verbose mode exactly verbose mode 3 so let me add the 3v and now it's getting more clear that on line 24 we have uh, one parenthesis no two parentheses more now back to basic let's return to the editor in my editor let's jump to line 24 and remove the additional parentheses now we did also some uh, little bit of troubleshooting and so an error correction the error could be more difficult, but this is very common. Now we are ready to execute my Ansible playbook, specify the inventory file and exec YML. Cool. This time the execution is going to be successful and we are going to see on sc the screen the result of the token. As you can see, this is arbitrary code and this code for the API is pretty famous because you can match the one that is also online. Uh, let me also highlight another interesting thing that Ansible compiled the Python code on the first execution. As you can see, there is an additional file inside the lookup plugins directory that uh, with uh, my version of Python 3.11. So next time the execution will be even faster. Now we can, the sky is the limit and you know how to create a custom lookup plugin.